Okay, so the weather confirms we're not there yet, but we will be soon. That time of year when everything seems to come out of hiding, the trees start to blossom, even the birds migrate home. So my next guest says it's time to ask how you can personally reset and restore yourself this spring. Studio 5 relationship contributor, Dr. Matt Townsend, joining me. Great to see you. Good to see you. You say spring and Easter is a great time to take that personal inventory and really make some motion to recenter your yep. life. Let's let's make it happen. Like just like the birds flying back. Yeah. Right. And um, the buds are just starting to to blossom and then they get snowed on then they go away. But we're all on this verge of springing into a really cool year. Yeah. But we're some of us are still afraid. And I want to talk about the confidence that we need to have to kind of step out a little bit, stick your neck out a little bit and see if you can't make something happen this year. Five ways you're sharing today that we can relaunch our lives for spring. First, don't expect a nest, just start gathering the straw. That's, yeah. that's so good. Not great. So what we tend to do is we, we tend to really overestimate how good things will be, how big things are going to go, uh -huh. right? And, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem with it is then when it doesn't go exactly that awesome or that well or that perfect, then we back down and we don't continue. So what I'd rather you do is instead of just assuming we're gonna do something big, let's just learn to do something small. Let's just start gathering the straw. Like we don't need to do everything to get our life started for spring and life. Let's just, let's just start doing a little thing every day. What's one thing we can do today that leads us to the next thing that leads us to the next thing? The small steps often don't bring on that dopamine hit or no. that high or no. that accomplished you know, celebration. And they're we, hard to take a picture of and put on Instagram. That's true. It takes discipline to take those small marches yeah. forward. And, we, and I think because our mind thinks, well, I want kind of the end result is what we're all going. Yeah. for but there is a really big value to the journey of that bird for example having to take every piece of straw to build the nest every piece of straw is strengthening the bird mm -hmm. every step we take along this path strengthen it strengthens us so let's set the right expectation we'll go big but we're going to go big one straw at a time. I love that so much. In line with that, you want us to look for the buds, not the blossoms. Yeah, humans also have a really hard uh, tendency, strong tendency to evaluate seriously harshly. We immediately look for the negative. That's human nature is to find what's not working and fix it. So what I want people to start doing is instead of just looking for blossoms, before any blossom ever blooms, have you ever been to D.C. during the cherry blossom? I oh, it's life changing. But if we're only looking for the blossoms that we miss for weeks, the buds, there's buds that are coming out before the blossoms are hitting. And so instead of only looking for the good big stuff, mm -hmm. let's start looking for the tiny little signs of things that are working, which means all I want you to do in your life is when you're starting to make a little progress every day, identify three things today that showed you you're on your way to that, that place you mm -hmm. want to be, that mm -hmm. person you want to be. The Find the three find the three. We're on our way. Just look for the buds. I yep. like that. You talked about people maybe feeling fear or feeling Huge. nervous to step forward or extend yourself. How yeah. do we push past that, Matt? Think of that. Fear would probably be the number one impediment to confidence. And because it also, fear literally taints everything. It taints how you see things. It taints what you're willing to do. It taints what you expect things to be like. The fear maybe makes us back down so much. So what I'd like you to do is face the fear. Just recognize it. Fear's normal. Like if you're going to go start something new this spring, if you're going to start playing pickleball and you haven't ever done it before, you might be a little afraid because you don't, you may not know how to do anything, but face the fear. Don't just avoid the fear. Don't hide from the fear. Notice you're feeling it. Name that fear. Just literally call, oh, thank you, mind, for bringing me some emotion, some fear. And then one of the things I'd love you to do is take it on anyway, do it anyway, mm -hmm. and then do it in, in a desire to fulfill your value. So thank you, I'm feeling a little nervous, but I'm still gonna go play pickleball because I wanna be healthy and strong. Mm -hmm. And identify two values or three values mm -hmm. that you're gonna use to override the fear. We're gonna feel it anyway, but then we're gonna reach back, grab our values and play the game. And you say with that, let your flaws be part of the process. That's right. The flaw is, by the way, the reason you're, you're probably wanting to improve. Improvement's normal. For some reason, your mind is making you think that the flaws are something to be afraid of. But the flaws just mean it's just another chance to improve, right? So if the principle that you want to live is improvement, then make sure you just live that value. Accept the fear. I'm a little bit worried about looking stupid on the court. Nonetheless, I'm going to go play and do my best to try to improve myself, which Love is it. my value. 
Love it. I especially love this next challenge. Maybe it's just, you know, my personal circumstances in my, in my personal life, but I feel a lot of momentum toward this idea of experience. You yeah. want us to live our life as if the only purpose was to gain experience. That's it. What if the only reason you were on this earth was to gain experience? Not to master something, uh, not to succeed, uh, not, not to, to be, perfect, not to be recognized, mm -hmm. but just no. to experience. Yep. Not to be famous or popular, just to experience. You're supposed to experience your life issues. You're supposed to experience that last child leaving. You're supposed to experience that first child coming to earth. You're supposed to experience the fear of having to run them to the hospital or the loss of a mother. You're supposed to experience these things. So what if we start living life as interns? Interns kind of going to a job, not expecting to be good at it. We're just here to see. We're just here to see. So if we can start to experience, then what it does is it makes these experiences of life not so terrifying. Mm -hmm. It makes them actually additive. And the, by the way, the more experience you gather in life without a lot of judgment around it, the more power you have as a human, right? The more you've lived and the more you've lived effectively, and, and learned more, which makes the yeah. next thing you do, you're going to be even more valuable in doing Live it. Live life as an intern. I it puts it. you in a place of humility, too, Powerful. which I think is always a good pursuit. Uh, 30 seconds. I love this next challenge. See today as a bonus day with the benefit of yesterday's insights. Have you ever played a video game and you did such a great job that you got a free, a free player? Oh, yeah. So free, free game. So now you've got a free game. What if every day is a free game with the benefit of everything you learned in the previous That's days? That's so good. So if we see everything as a free game, then yeah. let's just start learning more skills. Yeah. Every day, let's just get a little bit better. It's fresh. And by the way, if we blow it, guess what? Tomorrow, free day. Free game. It's like, yeah, it's like Cafe Rio on a free meal. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. I love this. Five ways we can feel that spring renewal and restore a fresh approach and spark to our lives. Matt, thank you Thanks, so much. Brooklyn. Before we say goodbye, tell us about your 10-day relationship day, makeover. Yep. It's uh, Go to matttownsend.com. It's a video program where we send you a video every day for 10 days, and we help you learn how to reverse a spiral that tends to impact a lot of marriages. And we do a little assessment, 50 points, figure out where you're spiraling a little bit, and we give you the tools. Go to matttownsend.com. You know right that there. I love you're doing this because you can't be everywhere. No. The people want you everywhere. I'm get, and I'm getting but, old. But through the screen, you yeah. can reach these couples, and kudos to these couples who are Isn't taking cool? it on and investing 10 days in their in relationship, their in their marriage. It's cool. It's awesome. matttownsend.com. Thanks, Thanks We got it.